Hey, what's up everybody? Hungry Hussy here, and I want to do another little low-carb dish for you today. Uh, this is a side dish. I don't know if some of you remember, but I uh, posted on Instagram and Facebook not long ago of some asparagus. I got a lot of requests for a video recipe on that asparagus, so I listen to you. I love you, right? So what I'm going to do for you today is I'm going to do that asparagus for y'all and we're gonna do it on the Blackstone. It's gonna be some good groceries, all right? So let's get to the ingredients and then let's get to cooking, all right? All right, ingredients are, this is asparagus. They normally come with these two uh, rubber bands and all you have to do is just kind of snap, um, snap off one of these and then see where it is, put the rubber band right where it's supposed to be and then cut it on the front side of it and then that way it holds the all the the ends of the asparagus so then all you got is that so fresh asparagus i got uh, two strips of bacon i got a little bit of red onion i got some garlic in the press i got a little bit of mozzarella cheese and parmesan cheese and a little bit of uh just a little bit of white cooking wine and that's it oh some olive oil and that's it it's very simple but very very good all right let's get it on the black stone all right, folks, hey, the ingredients are pretty simple. Not hard at all. It's going to be good groceries. All right, let's get to it. Uh, we're going to start with the bacon first, and we're just going to put it down on the black zone, and we're going to start uh, rendering that, okay? We're going to let that render, and then we're going to add the onion and then the garlic and then the uh, asparagus later, and then we'll top it with the cheese. Ooh. It's gonna be good groceries. All right, so our bacon, it's rendered a little bit and looking real good. I wanna add, uh, add our red onions, okay, to that mixture. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm using that bacon grease to fry the asparagus in, all right? So we're just gonna put that over to the side a little bit. We got a little bit of bacon grease there. We're gonna add a little bit of olive oil and then we're going to take our our uh, bunch of asparagus and we're going to put it down okay right there asparagus a little bit more oil top we'll add a little salt and add a little pepper Want to get these tossed around real nice okay for presentation we want to keep them all you know try to get them situated together you don't want company and somebody come over and your asparagus is all out of whack right Whew. lord have mercy you don't want that definitely don't want karen to come over and see it all right all right we're just going to get these a little happy get our bacon our bacon and onions, we're going to get them sweated down. Not quite ready for the garlic yet, but soon, guys. It's soon, all right? I'm going to put the bacon up here. And then our asparagus there. I got old Mr. Big Pan, all right? So I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to steam this asparagus. All right? Give me a, you know, whoop, label came off. We're going to steam these. We're going to let it go about two minutes, okay? And we're going to see where it's at. Check back in a minute. All right, hey, it's been about two minutes. Let's see where this asparagus is. It's already changed good color. I can already see it getting a little bit um, cooked. Still got... Still not quite there. It's got a little crunch to it still. Still good. Mm. I love asparagus. It makes my pee stink, but yeah, it's good. We're gonna let this go a little bit longer, but, but instead of water, I'm gonna do a little bit of cooking wine. A little bit, and we're just gonna steam it. 
We're gonna let that go another two or three minutes and we're gonna check our bacon over here. How are you bacon? Let me put this over here so y'all can see it. Bacon. It's not quite there. I want it. I'm not a big crispy bacon fan, but I want it a little, I want it rendered a little bit more. All right. Two to three minutes, come right back. All right, hey, it's been two minutes and let's see where our uh, asparagus is. Oh yeah. I smell that sweetness of that white wine. It smells good. Uh, it gives it a, a good little tanginess. Mm. That's about done. For me. I kind of like my asparagus. A little al dente. Um, I like Al. He's a pretty good guy of mine. Pretty good, pretty good boy. Alright, we're just gonna I'm just gonna let this crisp up a little bit. And then um, tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add the garlic to add the garlic to this. Boy. Boy, that's smelling good right there. Dang it, boy. Good night. Y'all, it's gonna be some good groceries. Our bacon, our bacon and onions are nice and the bacon's rendered. Mm. The onions are nice and soft. We're about to, we're about to be done with these, all right? Now, bacon, put the bacon like that. Put the bacon, put the bacon. Now, come here bacon, come here boy. Get over here. I don't know why I put all this over here. Doing the bacon. Now, we're gonna do some mozzarella cheese. And then we're gonna do some Parmesan cheese. Boy, do you see this? Would you look at that? Oh shoot, look at that right there, right there. Now, let's get it in tight, boys. Let's get it in tight. We're gonna steam it. We're gonna steam it under there, let that cheese melt. We're gonna put it right here. All right? Give me a minute, let this steam. I'll let you see. All right, it's been a minute, minute and a half. Let's see what we got. Ooh. Hey, pretty girl. Good night. Look at this. Would you look at that? All right. Let's get this off of the Blackstone. She's ready. She is ready. Hey, y'all. This asparagus is done. Super simple, super easy. It took less than 10 minutes to do i want to try this oh man look at this cheese look how stringy all that cheese is dang mm. oh man we fried it in that bacon right so i got a you know that porky goodness right and then the uh, onions give it a nice sweetness and that cooking wine Gives it a, a little sweetness plus a kind of a tart. Man, the asparagus is still kind of crunchy, which I like. If you don't, cook it a little bit longer. But, man, dynamite. Y'all, this is great. Low carb, keto um, dish that you can have as a side dish. Uh, you can add some grilled chicken. I got something coming up next that's going to be awesome. So, yeah, try this dish. Make it part of your weeknight, weekend uh, meal. So until next time, folks, Hungry Hussy is out.